Okay, so next topic is called double signs and complex expressions. What this means is it's uh, looking at something we've looked at before, double signs, and some nasty, ugly expression questions, complex ones. Um, it's more of like a, a review, I guess, of all the different things we've done with expressions, whether it's circles and squares, which we also called simplifying or collecting like terms, or if we did substitution, which was um, uh, evaluating, or if we did um, stuff with the brackets where we had to expand, or something also called the distributive property, or as you might remember it, fishing. Either way, um, let's take a look what we got here. First, a little trip down memory lane. What do we do with double signs? When you have a minus plus, signs are different. The different signs, if you remember, turn into a minus sign. Same signs became positive. Different signs were negative. Different negative, same positive. So a question like this, 5 minus positive 3 would become 5 minus 3. 6 minus negative 2, 6 plus 2. And five, uh, sorry, 3 uh, plus negative 2 would become 3 minus 2. So using that refresher, let's look at this question here. All of that with all these double signs. First thing, like it says here, step one is to get rid of the double signs. They bug you, get rid of them. So this double sign, because they're different, minus. Here they're different, a minus sign. Here is the same positive sign, different, minus sign. So all the double signs are gone. We're free now to bring the terms down. directly underneath. And from here, what do we do? Well, we could go fishing. Could we? No, we can't. There's no brackets here to go fishing. Could be use substitution? Nope, because we don't know what M or A are. Uh, what are we left to do? Collecting like terms, or they call it simplifying, or our little word for it was circles and squares. Let's put circles around all the M's because they're all the like terms with M. That one, that one. Remember when we circle it, we put the, or put a shape around it, we put the sign in front of it as well. So we'll put a circle around here and the sign in front of it. Um, so negative 3M minus M gives you negative 4M. Negative 4M minus 2M is negative 6M. The A's, let's put a rectangle around them. Minus 2 plus Remember this is a 1, looks like oh, that was a 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1a. You don't have to put the 1 in, you can just call it negative a. Can't simplify that any further, that is our answer. Okay, so nothing really new other than the double signs, which aren't even new themselves. Let's take a look at a slightly harder one here. Longer question, not that's just nothing that's harder, it's just longer. And with all these questions, yeah, they look hard. It's just if you carefully do them and you write neatly directly underneath and you do those little things and don't skip steps, they're not hard at all. First, get rid of the double signs. That is different minus same plus different minus different minus same plus different minus. Now bring everyone else down. Negative 4x, 3y, 4y, 3x, 3y, 4x, 4x. Okay, with them all brought down. Now it's just circles and squares. There's no brackets. We don't know what x and y are, so we're left with just simplifying it, collecting like terms, circles and squares. Circle around the x and the sign in front of it, circle around the x and the sign in front of it, circle around the x and the sign in front of it, circle in front of the x term and the sign in front of it. Negative 4, minus 3 is negative 7, negative 7, plus 4, negative 7, plus 4 is negative 3, negative 3, minus 4 is negative 7x. The y's that we have left, let's just put boxes around them so they stand out more. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. 
y. 1y minus 3y is negative 2y. That's all we can do. We're done. See, these aren't that hard. It's just patience and writing neatly. Okay, here's where we get a little bit more difficult question. 3 with brackets around it, 2x plus y, and then all this. This, hopefully you can identify, is a fishing question. So this 3 is the fisherman. It's going to fish everything inside the brackets here. Will it fish these things over here? No, they are not in brackets. They are on land, I guess, so we, do not, we don't do any fishing with them. But the fisherman catches this. 3 times 2x is 3 times 2, which is 6. And then just leave the x. 6x. 3 times positive y, just 3y. And then we bring everybody else down. Plus 2x minus x plus y. What do you think we do next? Well, from this point, it's now good old circles and squares. Circle, circle, circle. 8x, 6 plus 2 is 8x, minus 1x is 7x. And with the y, so let's put squares around them. 3y plus 1y is 4y. Positive 4y, so you put a plus in between, and that's it. 7x plus 4y. Okay, next. Same question. This time they say, they tell us what x is and what y is. x is 1 and y is negative 3. So what I suggest you do, instead of plugging these numbers in directly, is first get rid of the brackets by fishing, then do the circles and squares, simplifying, and then the last step, sub in x is 1 and y is negative 3. Here's how we'll do this. Now, we just did this question up there. Let's just do it again really quickly. That times that is 6x. That times that is positive 3y. And can we bring down the 2x, the minus x, and the plus y. From this step, circle and squares. That, that, that. We can circle 4 minus 1. Sorry, not 4. Uh, yes, yeah, 4. What am I talking about? 4 minus 1. Are these the same questions? Hang on a second here. 6x plus... Oh, I see. I made a mistake. Can I just say that I did it on purpose? I didn't, actually. Um, Three times y is three y. Oh, I did. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to stop the tape. I'm going to keep it rolling. I put a minus sign here, so the questions actually are a little bit different. Uh, so that's why I got a little confused there. Okay, so slightly embarrassing. So this becomes 6 minus 2, which is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. That's 3x. And then put squares around these guys. 3 plus 1 is 4y. So 3x plus 4y. And then we just substitute in now what x is. x is 1 and y is negative 3. So we, wherever you see an x, we put a 1. Remember the rule for substituting? You put the substituted thing in brackets. Plus 4, we're putting, where we're seeing y, we're going to put a negative 3. So we put a negative 3 there in brackets. And we just do the math. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. When we go, we see this, we have a double sign. That's going to give us a minus. It's 3 minus 12, which is negative 9. Okay, so uh, that's that one there. Moving on to the next question. Just double checking to make sure I did it right. 6, that's 3x, that's 4y. Yeah, looks good to me, I believe. But I'm pretty sure if I mess up, on that one, you'll all jump on me and let me know. Okay, what about this question here? 
Now this question here looks almost the same as the last one, but there's something tricky about it. Who's the fisherman here? Is the 3x the fisherman? Remember, the fisherman is the one in front multiplying the brackets. The 3x, though, is not multiplying the brackets. It's subtracting the brackets. So who is going to fish out these guys here? Well, there's just a minus sign. Well, how does a minus sign multiply everything in here? Well, here's a little trick. There actually is an imaginary, like there's always the number that's always imaginary, an imaginary 1 in front. So the negative 1 is going to multiply everything inside the brackets. Negative 1 is going to multiply here. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And negative 1 times y is negative y. Negative 1y. Let me bring the, the 3x down. And now it's just circles and squares. This is, uh, they're next to each other, they're easy. Put circles around them anyways. 3 minus 2 is x. Minus 4. Minus y. Now we can sub in that x is 1 and y is negative 3. Wherever you see an x, we'll put a 1. I see an x, I'll put the number 1. Minus 4. Wherever I see a y, I'll put negative 3. Remember, we put the substituted numbers in brackets. Careful here. That minus sign belongs, and we get another minus sign from that. That gives us a double sign here. That double sign will become a plus. Let's bring everything else down. 3, 4, the minus and the 1. Don't have to put in brackets anymore. Negative, sorry, uh, 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Bring down the plus 3. You're up 3. So you're down 3, you're up 3. That is 0. That worked out nicely. Okay, so again, the biggest thing for all these questions is to be very careful. Take it step by step. Don't make silly mistakes. I did, or almost did up there. Um, double check, it's always a good idea as well. So try these only two skill testing questions. Hopefully they work out for you. Talk to you later. Bye.